Welcome to this Linux Academy lesson on how to navigate the Google Cloud Platform Console. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how you can find what you're looking for in the console, how you find things, and little tricks on how to improve your experience. So here we are on the console, and we're going to go from left to right and just discover what is available here. So if we look at the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see three horizontal bars. If you mouse over that, it's going to say products and services. And if you click on that item, it pops out a menu. That menu contains all of the services that are available for you to interact with. So you can click on, say, Compute Engine, and it will take you to the Compute Engine page. So let's go back home and expand the menu again. So one of the nice things about this menu is that you can pin things to the bar up at the top by simply hovering over this pin icon and clicking on it. So if I choose Compute Engine and Container Engine, I will have permanent icons on my home page that link to those services. So if I close this menu, you can see that those icons are still there. And if I want, I can even click, hold, and drag them to put them where I want them in the order that I want. And if I no longer want them, I can just come back into the menu and unpin them. And that's it. So what you'll see here in the main page is that there is a drop-down right next to the main menu that says My First Project. When you first sign up for an account, this is the default name for the first project. And the view of the cards that you see below here are related to that item. So the resources that are deployed into this project are represented down here. These cards are actually customizable, so you can turn on or turn off the ones that are relevant to you. This is the default set of cards. The only thing that's a little bit different here is I created an instance, so you actually have some activity here. Ordinarily, you would see nothing. It would just be blank. So moving over across the top here, we see that this icon is actually an indicator for our free trial status. It just lets us know that we're still in the free trial status. And if I click on it, it just wants me to upgrade to a build account. In this case, I don't want to do that right now, so I'm going to dismiss it. The next icon over is Google Cloud Shell. So this is a management interface. Effectively, what this is is a real Linux environment that is pre-installed with all the tools that you need to interact with Google Cloud Platform. There's SDKs installed. You have a 5 gigabyte persistent home directory. And there's popular language support built in. So you've got Python, Java, Node, and Go. And so you can use this to interact with the services. You don't have to spend time setting up a local development environment or CLIs to interact with the services that you're paying for. You've got it right here. And really, anywhere that a web browser will run, you can access Google Cloud Shell. So I'm going to exit this. And moving over, we have a help menu. So if you need to search for documentation or information about a service, this is the way you can do that. It's a way to quickly get information about a service or just about any topic that is interesting to you. And when you search, you end up with some search results related to the item that you search for. So we can close that. And next over, we have notifications. So if there are significant events that may warrant your attention, you'll see them in the notification list. So if a new VM is spun up, for instance, as is the case here, you'll be able to see that information from this notification menu. Moving over again, we have sort of ancillary items to the console. There are preferences. So if you want to have product notifications or understand about updates and offers, you can turn that on if you like. You can set your preferred language and your region, time zone. So another useful feature are keyboard shortcuts. I won't get into all of those now, but suffice it to say that you can navigate this entire interface with some keyboard shortcuts that really will help you accelerate your ability to get where you need to go. And that concludes today's lesson on how to navigate the Google Cloud Platform Console. You're free to move on to the next lesson.